guys. I hope you all had a lovely weekend. I have decided this week to film a weekly vlog. I love filming these and I love editing them because I feel like I can get a little more creative. Not to mention that filming a little bit each day works really well for me because I work full time and I try to upload two videos a week. So if I can kind of just do little bits each day, I find that the vlog is a little more entertaining and I really enjoy the whole process. So it is Monday morning. It is now quarter to seven and I need to leave here at 7 a.m. to head into the office. I'm pretty much working from home for the rest of the week, but today, especially on a Monday, I do like to head into the office just to kind of catch up with everyone, um, get a bit of a to-do list going for like the week. So yeah, I will be heading in today. But my plan for today is to head into work, be as productive as possible because it is a short week this week because we've got the Easter long weekend. So I'm gonna try and get as much done as I can today. And then when I get home, I have been notified that there is a package for me at my PO box. And I think it's from my friend Lou and she, I've mentioned this before, she was so generous to send me a Louis Vuitton item. So I'm pretty sure it's at the post office. I am so excited to pick it up. So when I get home from work, I think I will walk Remy to the post office and pick that up. That way it's like two birds, one stone situation. Plus I did sell a jacket on um, Depop that I need to post. So I'll do that when I get home. Then a pretty chill night. I don't plan on going to gym. Usually on a Monday night, I do like to do body pump, but I'm refraining from doing any strength training while I try and recover my arms, which I did get a massage for yesterday. I went and got a remedial massage. Guys, I was almost in tears. It was so painful, but my OT said to go and get a massage and ask for firm. It needs to be done. So I did that and oh my gosh, guys, it was so painful. But I woke up this morning, I was really tender and sore, but I do, I'm feeling hopeful. I'm hoping that a consistent plan will help get rid of my pain in my arms. Cause guys, it's been going on for like two years now. It is no joke and I need to be consistent. So I did that also, how much time have I got? I've got like five more minutes. Also, I got a hydrofacial yesterday. So I went and got my massage and I had heard about hydrofacials on YouTube and I really wanted to get one. So I looked up on Google where around me does a hydrofacial and I found a clinic in Kiwana. So I went there and got that done. It is expensive. It's like $220 for a hydrofacial. But if you got this pack for like $250, you get the hydrofacial and then two weeks later you get like this anti-aging um, microdermabrasion it's kind of facial, I think that's what it's called. So I did that. So I got my hydrofacial yesterday, which was amazing. Highly recommend guys. They literally suck out everything in your face whilst also injecting or like pumping through um, like serums and stuff. So I walked out of there just feel, I felt like I was glowing instantly. And then I woke up this morning and all the little bumps that I've been having all on my forehead and all on my chin are going down. So they've all been cleaned out. And then in two weeks time, I'm booked in for that second facial, which is like, yeah, that anti-aging one. So I'm really keen for that, but that's what I did over the weekend. I honestly just took it slow. If you are someone who is feeling really unmotivated, quite worn out, I have a feeling a lot of people are feeling like this. It must just be the time of year. Luckily, we do have a long weekend coming up. Um, but if that is you, I highly recommend to just not put any pressure on yourself. Take some time to just relax if you can. Like I didn't go to gym much. I didn't do as much exercise and I kind of just relaxed. And honestly, best thing I could have done because it is Monday. I've woken up and I feel so motivated. I didn't film any YouTube over the weekend, which usually tires me out and takes up a lot of time. So anyway, guys, I'm feeling really good. But before I head into the office, because I really need to go, I will show you what I'm wearing for today. So I am wearing this gray tank top from Nude Lucy. It is new in my wardrobe. And the reason why I'm wearing this with jeans is because I want to wear a blazer. So I generally like to wear tight stuff when I'm wearing like a jacket or a coat. So yes, I am wearing a blazer today. Guys, the temperature dropped overnight and I'm so excited because I'm just done with the heat. It's just way too humid and it's hard to do anything. So yeah, I've got the gray tank top, the black Zara jeans. These are just a mid-rise kind of straight leg jean and then the khaki kind of green, um, blazer which I got from the op shop for $8 last winter so 
I've just got that on, very basic. I'm actually wondering if the grey even goes with this, but oh, who cares? Not that anyone notices what I wear. I literally rock up to work with a new bag and I'm like, guys, and they're all like, what? What is it? I'm like, it's Gucci. And they're like, what's Gucci? I'm like, oh my God. Anyway, as for shoes, I am wearing these Zara ballet flats. So comfy. They go with every outfit. Oh God, now that I put this outfit together, I'm not vibing it, but who cares? A bit late now. And then, of course, my Gucci Diana tote. How's that for elevating an outfit? Like, this bag is so good for work. Anyway, guys, I would love to stay in chat, but I really have to go. And I'll chat to you when I get home from work. guys so it is obviously the next day sorry I didn't film yesterday afternoon much um, that's because I kind of the afternoon just got away with me and I didn't feel like there was much to film to be honest so I went to the post office and Remy and I had our nice big walk and I picked up my gift from Lou which I am so excited to show you and when I got home I was going to set the camera up and film me unboxing it with you guys but to be honest when it's those really special moments, like what I'm, what I'm unboxing, what I unboxed is so special to me that sometimes I feel like even if I do set up the camera, even if it does kind of impede on that moment, I don't know why that is, but whenever I filmed unboxings of designer bags on YouTube um, for the first time, it doesn't ruin the moment, but it's, I'm definitely not completely 100% present. I didn't film that and I'm really glad I didn't because I took it all in. She left a beautiful note and yeah, I'll, I'll show you everything that she got me. Lou sent me the most beautiful Louis Vuitton toiletry bag. Look at that guys. It is a secondhand item. Um, she also purchased it off a Japanese eBay seller, but the condition is impeccable um, and it's so much bigger than I thought I thought for some reason I thought it was going to be about this big and I was still just as excited but I was worried that all of my beauty bits wouldn't fit inside because I do like to carry a toiletry bag around this size and as soon as I opened it and saw the size I was so pleasantly surprised because I was like oh my gosh yes it's going to fit everything it'll be able to fit a hairbrush it'll be able to fit my deodorant just everything that I need so I am so happy with this and I can't wait to show you guys what fits inside and what I'm going to be keeping in it and then I had no idea, but she also sent me a little pencil case, which I have been wanting. So yeah, inside there was also some pens, which I love. Look at this one. Guys, that is going to look so nice in my planner. It's really nice and heavy too. I can tell that it's like really good quality. Um, all of these are really going to look really nice with my planner. They're all very aesthetic. And then she also sent me some more highlighters, which I am so happy about because she sent me one of these. It was like a peachy kind of orangey tone and I use it every single day. Um, but it is nice to have a couple of colors and she sent me some more and look at the tones of these. Like I just love how they're like, they're not too bright like highlighters, um, but they're just beautiful. So thank you so much, Lou. I'm so happy about these. These are honestly the best highlighters. If you are a planner gal, um, this brand, I think it's called Mild Liner. They are the best. So they were all in there, which I had no idea they were coming. So that was a very nice surprise. So anyway, guys, I am going to now have a shower, get into comfy clothes, maybe even a bit of active wear because I wouldn't mind you know, um, being able to go for a walk on my lunch break. And I find that if I'm not already in active wear, I probably won't go because I tend to get a little bit lazy throughout the day. So I'm going to get ready for work and then, yeah, I'll just bring you along for the day if there's anything going on. But today is a very standard Tuesday working from home. <laughs>
right, quick drink break. So it is now like a couple of hours later and usually after like my first morning coffee, I wait a bit and then around like morning tea, I'll have an iced coffee. So that is what I'm making now. And guys, my, I'm not a full coffee snob because I was a barista for like seven years. I actually love the taste of instant. Um, is that weird? But I'll just do a little bit extra because I'm going to make a big one. But um, yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, you're wet. Out. God, why do you go in the pool at the worst times? We have a wet dog. So yeah, that is what I'm making. A nice iced coffee. I'm pretty much good to go. Jump back on the computer and back to work. Hey guys, it is now Thursday. So yesterday I didn't vlog anything just because it was just another regular work from home day. Um, I did finish the day off with a glass of red wine, which was so nice. Um, I was going to wait until the weekend because usually we don't like to drink during the week, but I was just craving a glass of red wine. And then, so I had that and pretty much went to bed super early, like 7.30 and had the longest deepest sleep which was so good um, and I woke up this morning really energized so Remy and I actually went for a run this morning so such a great way to start the day I don't always start the day off obviously with a run um, but sometimes whenever I do feel like it I quickly go because that doesn't happen often so that was really good and then got home had a shower and then I just work from home basically and I've just clocked off so I thought I would paint my nails because the shellac that I had on before was beautiful and it wasn't coming off anytime soon focus um but I just wanted to try another color I kind of I don't know they're all new colors to me so I'm like oh I really want to try another one so in terms of getting it off I kind of just started to peel what I could and then it peeled off really nicely and didn't ruin my nails underneath but I think it is because I did have like a clear nail polish underneath um, to kind of protect my natural nail. So that worked out really well. And I am sitting on the floor because this is kind of where I've set up to do my nails. Um, I've just got like a little coffee table kind of thing in front of me. I have my um, LED light. So I definitely recommend you buy one of these for yourselves because once you've got it, all you have to do is then buy your own different shellac colors and it just stays on so much longer than normal nail polish. I don't even buy regular nail polish anymore because I know that it literally lasts like the day before it starts chipping. So buy yourselves one of those and then Priceline, um, well here in Australia, they've started to sell shellac. Um, I mentioned this brand, where did I mention this? I think on my Instagram, but I bought a bunch of shellac colors from Priceline. They're about $20 each. So I bought a couple of colors. I actually bought these in a pack. Um, it was like a neutrals pack. And I thought these ones would be great throughout the year and in summer and stuff. And then these ones would be really nice as it gets cooler. Um, yeah. So today I'm thinking, what do I want to do? I'm thinking I might use smoke and mirrors. It's like a darker color. Um, quite dark actually, but it is getting cooler. So I am getting really excited for like the autumn colors and yeah, this is just like one of my favorite things to do guys like sit down, do my nails. It's a little bit of self care. I have my lime sparkling with me, Ryan and I go through these and yeah, just going to put some music on, do my nails and then they're done for the whole weekend, which would be so good. It is Thursday, but we've got a long weekend. So we've got Friday off. And then we've all got Monday off as well. So we've all got four days off, which is amazing. Um, and yeah, my nails will be all nice and fresh, ready for the Easter long weekend.
So there you have it. That is my nails all done, freshly manicured, ready for the weekend. I am so, so happy with this shellac. I really like this color as well. It's definitely more of a wintry kind of tone and I do not have long nails. So it's nice just to have, even though they're quite short, it's nice just to have them freshly manicured. So if you're someone who like struggles with your nails, you struggle to keep them long and they're always cracking, give um, this shellac a go and this is not sponsored or even gifted or anything I bought these all with my own money and I'm just really really happy with the um with the outcome so absolutely love that and I will definitely be doing my toes at some point this weekend because shellac stays on my toes for so long probably even months I'd say so I'll definitely have to do that so my plans for the rest of the evening are my sister and her partner are coming over later and um, we're either going to go out for dinner or we're going to get takeaway, one of the two. And then after dinner, we'll probably just hang out and they usually stay over. So that should be really good. We might even make homemade cocktails, um, whatever, really. We just take the night as it comes. So that will be really nice. And then tomorrow, I'm thinking of doing a bit of a house clean. So if I do any of that, I'll be sure to film it because I love watching people clean their houses. Um, there's nothing I love more than having a full day off putting a speed clean or some kind of cleaning video on YouTube and just letting it play in the background. Um, so yeah, that is my plans for this evening. I thought though, cause I do have another hour or so up my sleeve before I like have a shower and get ready for tonight. I thought I would show you a little bit more of my new toiletry bag. So I don't want to show you too much because I do want to do like a dedicated video of a bit of a review of this and then also what I like to keep in my makeup bag. But I thought I would just show you a little bit about it and also just a couple of my favorites, um, my beauty favorites at the moment. So in here we have everything. Guys, this fits so much. It fits more than my Ted Baker makeup bag did. So very pleasantly surprised. I have literally almost all of my makeup products in here and in here I've only got makeup and skincare I don't have any hair care stuff or anything like that so a couple of my favorites now let's have a look so in here guys you've got like little um, elastic parts where you can um, stand things up for instance this here it's quite a long product I would say and it stands up like this so it's way bigger than you would think um, and I just stand that up in there that way there's no chance of any leakage. So when it comes to my skincare, I'm keeping it very simple at the moment and I'm just doing what has been recommended to me from um, the skin kind of specialist because I am trying to control my breakouts. So we have a couple of samples here and then also the Tranexamic Serum. So I've been using this every night and then these are the two samples. So they're the same brand, the Clear Skincare brand. And one is an SPF 30. Um, but it's like a moisturizer and SPF in one. So I've been using that during the day and then at night I've been using it's called moisture plus So they're both they're pretty decent samples as well So I've been using literally just these three for skincare and so far my skin is calming down I really need to just stick to one brand and stick to um, a set routine because I'm just so sick of the breakouts. So that's pretty much my skincare at the moment. I also like to apply this as well, like morning and night. It's just like a cooling under eye balm and I don't even know if it does anything, but it just feels really, really nice and I just love applying it. So that's my skincare at the moment. And then a couple of makeup favorites. I think I've, I've definitely mentioned this before. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Brow Freeze absolutely love this stuff just sets your brows in place literally all day so i'm loving that what else am i loving i've just run out of this it was the rimmel brow micro pro love this um yeah it just ran out so at the moment i have no eyebrow stuff which is a little bit concerning i might have to go out tomorrow and get some um another beauty favorite is of course my favorite maybelline lash sensational this one is completely out so maybe i'll do a trip to Priceline tomorrow and pick up a couple more um, bits that I need. I've also really been loving this um, Chanel palette. I got it a while ago for my birthday, which was in October last year, and it just has the four um, kind of brown tones. And I've just been using this glittery shade any time that I do my makeup, really. So I've just been applying that on the lid, and it just adds a really nice bit of glitter. So loving that at the moment. Other than that, guys, I haven't been wearing much makeup other than when I film. Um, I just put a little bit of bronzer and a bit of foundation, but nothing new. But I am thinking of getting into my makeup a little more. I've been watching so many makeup YouTube videos lately, 
and I feel like I need to go and just get new makeup because that's something I haven't done for a while and I really really want to try out Rare Beauty. I want to try kind of her blushes. I want to try pretty much every kind of product that Rare Beauty has to offer just because there's just such good reviews of it and I love Selena. So I definitely want to try that. And then a product that I haven't been loving is this one. It is the go-to, um, what's it called? Very useful face cream. I bought this because I thought, oh, it's a good everyday one and it is for a lot of people, but I find it too oily for my skin. So if you're someone with oily to combination skin, um, I try and maybe try just get a sample of this one because it is very oily. Um, I find like throughout the day I'm just like an oil slick. So yeah, that one was a bit disappointing. But you know what? It is getting colder. So maybe in the winter I'll wear it a little more. Um, so yeah, there's some of my favorite favorite beauty bits but I will do a dedicated um, what's in my beauty bag and um, a bit of a review of this soon so make sure you keep your eye out for that so anyway guys I am now just gonna relax for a bit I'm gonna go hang out with Ryan because he just got home a second ago so I'll go hang out with him then I'll have a shower and get ready and I'll see you guys at some point whether it's this evening or tomorrow morning but um, yeah I'll chat to you then <laughs> guys happy Saturday so I didn't end up vlogging yesterday because we actually I completely forgot but we had um, like an Easter lunch with Ryan's side of the family yesterday so Amber and Jake ended up staying over Thursday night and then um, so Friday morning we kind of just all hung out and just took the morning really slow the boys went for a surf Amber and I just chilled out watched some YouTube and then yeah Ryan and I went to like his family lunch and we were there until about 5 p.m. and then we kind of got home and we were just pretty much had an early dinner and went to bed like nothing interesting so I didn't even vlog I did end up having a bath so that was really nice and then this morning Ryan and I woke up super early because he was going to go um, with his mates surfing somewhere but so he was up at 3 30 to like get there before high tide but he decided not to go in the end so then we were kind of just awake so I was like you know what it's already like 4 a.m. let's just get up have a coffee and then we can watch a movie so I put on Stan the portable door that new movie and it's very kind of if you're into Harry Potter or Narnia or any of those kind of fantasy movies which I am obsessed with um, you will love the portable door so if you haven't watched it already it's on Stan um, and I absolutely loved it and then at the very end it did seem like there might be another movie so I was stoked about that because I didn't want it to just be like this one-off movie I re really love when there's like a series so we watched that this morning whilst you know, sipping on a coffee in bed and that was really nice and then I ended up getting up I put some washing on I made myself breakfast I just had avocado toast and um, an egg which is really nice and now I want to head to choice discount store to pick up some cleaning bits because it's almost like all at once everything has run out I've run out of Zoflora I've run out of washing detergent I've run out of toothpaste baking paper so I've made a huge list of things that I need and I thought you know what because I'm getting that much stuff it is worth heading to choice discount store which is about 20 minutes away from my house I'll bring you guys with me I'll probably just film on my phone that way I don't have to take my camera um, and yeah we'll head to choice discount store and then obviously when I get back I will give you guys a bit of a haul on um, everything that I've picked up So Ryan and I have done all of our Easter kind of festivities. We spent 
um, some time with his family on Friday having an Easter lunch and then we did my side of the family yesterday so today we don't have a lot planned at all um, and I thought I would show you everything that I got from Choice Discount Store so yesterday after I went to the shops I got home pretty much got ready straight away and went for um, lunch with my parents and um, my sister and her partner as well so it was really nice to just spend some quality time together and then I thought I would pick up the camera today to show you everything that I got so I have two bags Bags, like this size full of stuff that I want to show you I've got half of it is cleaning stuff um, and then the other half is actually some beauty stuff because I popped into Priceline and I have been watching so many makeup tutorial videos on YouTube lately I'm really going through a stage where I'm quite obsessed with makeup I haven't actually been doing any makeup but I'm just really enjoying watching it and watching some routines um, and I haven't been into it for ages so I thought I would pop in there and pick up some things because they had quite a large sale on I also have some lollies here that I am about to crack open because I had a big breakfast it is now 11 o'clock because I had a massage this morning um, as some of you would know I'm on a little bit of a journey with my tennis elbow situation and it's not a nice massage it's one of those remedial massages that is targeting those trigger points so it's 60 minutes of just pain and I've been getting one once a week to try and sort it out um, it was recommended by my occupational therapist and honestly guys I on the way home from that massage I had a little cry because I am just so sick of the pain and then to go and sit for 60 minutes and just have like a painful massage and I hate pain um, I don't have a very high pain threshold at all um, I just got a little bit overwhelmed but anyway I thought I would come home and I would crack open some lollies my mum got me these as part of like my little Easter basket just some good old Allen's party mix so I thought well, as I go through this stuff I'm gonna chew on some lollies you can't have these Rem so starting with the cleaning products, as you would have seen from the clips of me at the shops, there are a range of cleaning products and I have a feeling a lot of them come from the UK and overseas. So often you find scents and just brands that you can't get at our local supermarket. So I really like to kind of make the journey there and do some shopping. I did go through a stage of using all natural cleaning products and I still kind of am on that like I try and do it where I can, but I I'd kind of run out of everything and where I order from does take some time. And I know I could use vinegar and essential oils and do what I could, but sometimes I just need to stock up on these ones because they just work so well, especially because I have some problem areas in the house that I really need to give a good clean. So generally I need the kind of the harder stuff. So I picked up some washing, like clothes washing detergent. This is just the fab. Um, washing detergent the two liters and then two liters of the fluffy um, fabric conditioner and this one is in the scent coconut and vanilla and if you guys love the scent of coconut you will love the scent of this it's not too strong but it really does give your clothes just a really nice kind of summery smell. So I absolutely love that one. I have used this one before and it's one of my favorites. So I picked those two up. So I'm well and truly stocked up. And then in addition to that, I also picked up some of the Sard Whiter and Brighter um, washing powder. So basically I have white sheets on our bed and then I also have a bunch of white tops. And over time, it doesn't matter what you do or how careful you are with your white stuff, um, I find that the color can just not be as bright. And I have used the Sard Bar of Soap to remove stains before and it was amazing. So as soon as I saw this, I did decide to opt for this rather than the Nappy Sand. I've tried Nappy Sand before, it's amazing, but I just wanted to try something different. I have high hopes for this and I'll let you guys know how it goes. And then I just picked up some baking paper and I was using the reusable baking paper for a while. However, even if I was putting it through the dishwasher, it just wouldn't clean properly. So picked up 10 meters of that. I then have some finished rinse aid. If you find in your dishwasher that when it's finished its cycle and everything is still a little bit wet, I find you need to top up on rinse aid and that's what's happening with us at the moment. I then picked up some magic erasers. I like to use these for everything on top of the oven where the stainless steel is, on the walls, literally everything. So I absolutely love these and I got a bulk pack of 15 of them and then some good old Ajax and like I said I do like to try and use natural which I do have some natural multi-purpose cleaner but just for the tough bits of grime I like to opt for the Ajax spray and wipe because it is honestly 
it can cut through anything and it's really good for the oven. Now that we have a gas cooker, I find that this is the only stuff that really cuts the grease. And then I also bought some of the Ajax floor cleaner, which lasts me such a long time because I dilute it um, when I'm doing the floors. So I picked up those. This, these are both my favorite scents. This is the Tropical Breeze. And this is actually a different one. It's the Apple Blossom and Citrus. And this one is so, so nice. So I picked up those two. So they are all the cleaning products that I purchased yesterday. And now onto the beauty bits. So this wasn't from Priceline, but it did arrive last week. And it they are these little, wow. As I was saying, these came up on my eBay, like on my homepage, and they were only about $2 each, and I thought they were so cute. I will leave them linked below, but they're basically these little mesh kind of makeup bags with little black hearts, and they come in different sizes. And I thought I would just purchase these, one, because they were so cheap, but two, um, these I could use in my bag, like in my handbag for organization as like little pouches to keep things in. So I also thought when I head to New Zealand in July, these might be good in my luggage as like just keeping things a little more organized. So anyway, I picked those up. I thought they were really cute and they definitely come under the beauty kind of category. The next thing I picked up is this clip. I actually purchased this from a choice discount store. It was $2.50. I thought it was just a really nice color. Um, and because I have darker kind of hair, you're able to see it. So yeah, I picked that up really, really cute. And then across the road from choice discount store is Priceline. And I went in to purchase some mascara and also some eyebrow kind of crayon. And then obviously they had a sale on. So I picked up some more things. So the mascara I went for, I usually go for the Maybelline Lash Sensational, like literally every time. But this time I went for the L'Oreal Telescopic because I've heard a lot about this and not to mention it was half price. So all of the L'Oreal products were half price um, and so it was way cheaper than the Maybelline. So I picked that one up. I'm really, really keen to try it. Next L'Oreal product I picked up is the um, Precision micro eyebrow kind of crayon with a spoolie on the other end and guys i don't stick to one particular brand of these pretty much every makeup brand or drugstore makeup brand do this kind of eyebrow crayon so whichever one is on special is the one i opt for the last one i had was revlon i think i've had maybelline they all for me do the same thing so i obviously went with l'oreal because they were half price they then have the makeup revolution makeup um section which is quite new to Australia I think. When I lived in London back in 2013 I used to love Revolution makeup and I remember coming home to Australia and it was just not available. I picked up this Eye Bright um, concealer and the reason I went for this one is because apparently it's very very lightweight and very um, thin and I thought you know what I don't cover up a lot with concealer so this would probably be good enough for just like pretty much anywhere. So I picked that one up. The next thing I got from Revolution was this beautiful lip gloss. Guys, does that not look like the Dior lip oil? I just thought the packaging was so cute. I am a sucker for lip glosses. I pretty much use them every day, but it's quite a thin consistency. It almost is more like a lip oil rather than a gloss. So if you're someone who just wants something a little bit, not too heavy, but you like the look of gloss, I think this would be great. So I think um, that one was about $12, but yeah, like I said, it's from Revolution Makeup and I just thought it would look so cute in my handbag. Next makeup product I picked up is a foundation. I haven't bought foundation in the longest time because I generally only use BB cream. And then if I have something on and I need like a full face, I will just layer up the BB cream. Um, and I don't think I have any foundation anymore. So I was watching Zoe Suggs vlog and she used this and it looked really, really nice. And she said, this is the ultimate dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Foundation. Anyway, this is called the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I have never tried it. I am yet to try it. Um, I might even just swatch some just to see what the consistency is like. Let me just peel this off. It's so annoying. Priceline put these big kind of stickers over everything and it's just annoying because they leave a really sticky residue. Now, I can't even get into it. I'll get into it later. But I am thinking, guys, if this is something you want to see, leave a comment down below. But I am thinking doing like an updated makeup routine and I'm planning to use all of these new products. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure you let me know because I don't really do many beauty kind of videos on this channel. But if you want it, more than happy to do it. So really keen to try this out. Um, and obviously that is from e.l.f. 
And then the next three products I purchased were skincare products. So when I went and got my Hydra Facial, it was at this Clear Skincare Clinic, um, and they have their own um, skincare range, and they actually sell it also at Priceline. So after my Hydra Facial, she recommended a bunch of products, and she gave me samples for them all. I used them, and I decided to pick up a couple of the um, products full size. So the first one here is the SPF. 30 um, moisturizer so it's like a daily moisturizer as well as a broad spectrum sunscreen and it's oil free so perfect for me because I do have oily skin so love that um, and they were all half price that's why I picked them up the next is the Moist moisture plus daily um, moisturizer this I've been using at night and it's just a really nice lightweight kind of moisturizer and then the last product I use it's not something that they had recommended to me but I saw it and thought yep that's what I need so it's called the smooth skin 8% and basically it's for those who have acne prone skin and you just put it at night on your acne kind of prone areas so for me it's my forehead and my cheeks so anyway I bought that and guys I used this last night for the first time and I woke up this morning and for the first time in weeks everything just seemed relaxed and calmed down so I really have high hopes for this and it is really nice to be just using one brand of skincare rather than chopping and changing so plans for today Ryan has popped out for a couple of hours to catch up with some friends and I thought perfect I am going to put YouTube on out in the living area turn it right up put maybe Gemma Louise Miles recent kind of speed clean on there and I am going to clean the house with um, my new cleaning products so that is something I really want to do I'm not going to do a full house deep clean but I am going to spend probably like half an hour to an hour just cleaning everything up doing some clothes washing and stuff like that so I'm probably best to do my outro now because for the rest of the video I'm planning to have music and time lapse of me cleaning um, I will just be on a mission so if you love watching cleaning videos like I do just relax and enjoy the rest of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did make sure you let me know in the comments below or give this video a thumbs up if you're a silent watcher I completely understand if you're not someone to comment but giving the video a thumbs up really helps indicate to me what content you like to see and of course if you're not already subscribed to my channel please do so it helps me out more than you know and I will catch you guys in my next video which should be Wednesday I'm thinking for Wednesday's upload I'll do a what's in my beauty bag so make sure you stay tuned for that I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your long weekend and enjoy it just taking time out and relaxing and I'll catch you in my next one bye guys mm -hmm.